Hello world, I'm back for another Utavoli nail tutorial. This time it's going to be Mikase Ai because he's my favorite senpai in Utapuri. Are you ready? As always, start off with a base coat. This will protect your nail and keep the polish on longer. Doop 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 doop. And then paint your ring finger and your index finger white. For the rest of your nails, paint them a pale blue, a light blue, baby blue, whatever light blue you have. So while I'm painting my nail, let's talk. Who else wants more Mikase eye in the anime? Come on. Okay, so since my polish was a little sheer, I had to do another coat. Just so it's opaque, it's nice and opaque. And pretty, pretty, pretty. So yeah. I want more Mikase eye, come on. Just like more quartet night, please. So, index finger and ring finger, they're going to be the same design. So, I'm just using a black striper and drawing stripes, horizontal stripes. Since Mikase's shirt is black and white stripes, it looks more like white shirt with black stripes. Either way, Yep, so just keep doing the same thing on both fingers, just using a striper or black polish with a nail art brush and just do horizontal stripes. Space them out kind of even, but who cares. Then for my thumb finger, I'm going to get some yellow polish on a brush and then draw a line across it at the top is like where your um if you were drawing a French tip that's where you would stop but I'm just gonna draw a line across there kind of like along your smile line yeah so I'm attempting to show you guys what it looks like I don't know what I'm doing here so more Yellow nail polish, yay! And I'm going to paint more yellow nail polish on the tip. And this is um, part of Mikase's cardigan. Or I Senpai's cardigan! And I'm going to draw a vertical line near like toward the inner side of my pinky nail yeah so just paint 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 do 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 okay so for my middle finger I have a cosmetic sponge and a scissors snip snip Akashi yeah Akashi so I'll just snip off part of the cosmetic sponge so it's not too big we're going to do a um, blue gradient on the middle finger so after you've snipped off the excess part of the cosmetic sponge we're gonna paint on some dark blue nail polish on like the top of the cosmetic sponge and then it, the light blue nail polish that we were using before and paint it on the bottom so when you sponge it it's going to have this gradient effect so so get your sponge and sponge it on just roll your sponge against your nail a couple times 
and you get this not so pretty gradient effect because I'm apparently too lazy to make it look better. Sponge fun sponge. The reason why we're using a smaller size sponge is so that the nail polish doesn't get all over your nail and it's not as messy as it would have been if we were using just the sponge like it came in, like a really big sponge. Yeah, so if you don't think it's opaque enough, if you want the gradient effects to have like more darkness to it, if that makes sense, um, you can sponge on the dark blue a couple more times. And then use a top coat to blend out the colors. And right here, I'm using a fine glitter polish just to like blend everything. And here you have it the final product. You cast the eye. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye bye.